Maria Kang, originally from San Francisco, now resides in Elk Grove, near Sacramento, California, with her husband, David Kassler, and their three sons. Apart from her role as a mother, Kang is deeply involved in managing several care homes for the elderly and oversees a nonprofit organization called Fitness Without Borders. Established in 2007, this charity aims to empower community leaders in economically challenged areas to understand the significance of health and fitness. These leaders then educate local children about the importance of leading a healthy lifestyle. Kang's dedication to this cause stems from her personal experiences. She was once a competitor in fitness competitions and even won first place at the Miss Bikini California figure and fitness pageant in 2003. Despite her demanding schedule of educating others, Kang prioritizes her own fitness regimen, particularly after the births of her sons in 2009, 2010, and 2011. Reflecting on her commitment, Kang emphasized to ABC News in December 2013 that while fitness may not always be her top priority, it remains an essential aspect of her life. She described herself not as a model or celebrity, but simply as a neighbor striving to make it all work. Kang's journey towards self-empowerment through fitness led her to share that sense of empowerment with others. In 2009, she initiated a complimentary workout workshop for women in her hometown, aiming to spread the positive impact of staying fit. Following the birth of her third child, Kang orchestrated a motivational photo shoot intended to inspire conversation. The professionally captured image features Kang showcasing her toned physique in athletic attire, exuding pride as she kneels on a parquet floor, her smile reflecting her well-defined abdominal muscles. Positioned in front of her are her three young sons, aged three years, two years, and eight months at the time. Initially, the photograph appeared innocuous, portraying a proud mother alongside her children, celebrating both her family and her physical fitness journey. However, it was the accompanying text that Kang shared in August 2012 that sparked controversy. In defense of her, the self-proclaimed fit mom stated that her intention was simply to motivate to prioritize exercise. However, not everyone interpreted it that way, and dissenting voices exercised their right to free speech. Numerous took offense to the confrontational tone of Kang of body-shaming mothers who didn't meet her physical standards. Some went as far as labeling her a narcissist, a bully, or even a bad mother. Despite the backlash, Kang remained steadfast, refusing to retract her stance or issue an apology. Just over a year later, in October 2013, Kang the original controversial image with an even more provocative. This updated message declared it was time to stop tiptoeing around people's feelings when addressing obesity. Predictably, the picture reignited a heated debate. Ultimately, Kang's reinforced the notion that any publicity is good publicity. The increased exposure led to a significant spike. In the aftermath of the What's Your Excuse? controversy, Kang solidified her position in the fitness industry. In early 2014, she launched another nonprofit fitness initiative, boldly named No Excuse Mom, aimed at offering free workouts to the public, particularly targeting busy mothers. Kang expanded her reach by selling fitness-related products through a dedicated, the following year marked her debut as a published author with her book, The No More Excuses Diet. However, Kang's ascent in the health and fitness domain was not devoid of further contention. In November 2013, she clashed with Crystal Bugan, owner of a San Jose lingerie shop, over provocative plus-size promotional photographs displayed in Bugan's curvy girl lingerie store. Kang criticized the, arguing they promoted an unhealthy body image emphasizing the importance of maintaining a healthy physique through nutrition and exercise. Bugan reported Kang's administrators, alleging they constituted hate speech, resulting in Kang being temporarily blocked from the platform for two days. Nevertheless, Kang leveraged the incident to her advantage once again, bolstering. Consequently, there was a stir in both camps when her narrative took a surprising turn half a decade later. When Kang made a noteworthy New Year's in January 2018, 
timely for the season of post-holiday diets and self-improvement initiatives, Kang's move demonstrated her astute understanding of her audience. Exactly five years after her controversial, Kang returned to recreating the same photograph with her three children. In her accompanying message, Kang elaborated, emphasizing the importance of identifying one's motivation after addressing excuses. She urged her audience to find their reason for prioritizing health in a society where healthy habits are in the minority. Kang advocated for a departure from the habits and lifestyles prevalent among overweight and obese individuals. Perhaps this signaled a shift towards a more empathetic approach to her advocacy for diet and exercise. Regardless of the underlying motive for this new perspective, it's possible that Kang may now choose a gentler persuasion tactic, aligning her message more effectively with her objectives.